Good morning, you guys. Yeah, the puff is back in action. I'm deep dishing my hair. Say hello, cowses. Let me clean my lens. Say hello. Oh, that made it worse. Oh, gosh. Ugh. All right, they're not into speaking. All right, back to the point. Okay, you guys. So, yesterday, I tend to, like, work. Like, I know it's also my flesh. It's Satan, too. But, like, worrying sometimes. Okay, I like let's say i need a certain hair product i'll be like okay i need to get this hair product i'm gonna get this i need it i like worry about it constantly throughout the day constantly throughout the day even like with getting heat damage I curl all my curls came back and, and i prayed over them praise the lord but i got my hair straightened and i was in such fear of not straightening my hair because i was like i don't want the heat damage to come so i'd be like researching researching what products and all that's cool and dandy but i got to a fear girl i just prayed over my hair i deep conditioned it and all my curls came back there was no point for me to fear and even like you know i got student loans payback i got you know i want to move out to my own place i want you know there's there, there's always worries and bills oh you want to say something <laughs> cow Chron horse chronicles there's always like worries and anxieties you can like you have but like you have to cast down those thoughts because when i worry that tr that shows me that i don't trust god even if it's not my own thoughts even if it's a okay hi even if it's a fiery dart of satan that if i throw if I, I have to cast that if this horse bites me I, ah! <laughs> I have to cast that down to the pits of hell i gotta even if it's my flesh talking about me even if it's me i have to be like what is the word of god said my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory i give i I am adamant about giving, not because I'm a, just, I know God gives seed to the sower. We reap what we sow. Uh, that's just, that's just the law of God. Like, how there's a law of salvation, there's a law of this. Giving and reaping and sowing and, and giving your 10%, giving what God tells you to give. Because none of my money is mine. I don't care how much money I make, it's not mine, it's God. God is, because my whole life belongs to Christ. So, when he gives me money, I put aside my first fruits. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, dang. But yeah, I could be like, in, 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 I have those worries. Like, man, I'm not going to, I only have $100. If I put aside this $20 for my first fruits, I only have $80 so I got to eat and stuff. But what if I don't? This money belongs to God. When you honor God, he honors you. When you give in faith your first seed, he gives seed to the sower. He's going to bless you more than exceedingly and abundantly all that you can think or ask for. It takes faith. You have to be like that little widow who gives her all, who gives out of her need. Are you giving out of your need? Or are you just giving out of your surplus fat? You have to trust God. This is a God thing. All right, so literally <laughs> yesterday I had like $3 in my pocket <laughs> three dollars and i was just like worried just worried but i was like you know what god all this worry and fear i am trusting you i told him this morning i was um listening to comforter by cc whinings and just out just in my in my word pressing into him i was like i'm gonna whoa i'm like i have never been without me you gave me sixty thousand dollars for school i had i was living in the most nice apartments i didn't have to pay a dime like you, you supply he supplied, i got 60 i mean i have 20 i got ninety thousand dollars to pay off the loans but really that's like not a lot but i got sixty thousand dollars in grants and scholarships and free money so if, if without that i would be paying like a hundred thousand dollars back but i'm saying god always gives seed to the sower so with me having three dollars in my pocket i'm like god like, I have to really force my mind because my mind races, Satan races against me. Like, don't be don't th be guilty when you're having these thoughts. Fight back. You really have to submit your mind. Oh, those are, that's Lisa and Mona. And I don't know these cows' name. Okay, go lay down, cows. But you have to submit your mind. You have to, you have to let your flesh bow down. Say, you got to say, flesh, bow down. Welcome. Oh, and I'm also calling the series Camera Talk. I got 10% battery. I'm over here cleaning out my car. Yeah. Okay. Back to the focus. But like, you know what? I was like, God, I am. You have never left me or forsaken me. Even while I worry about, oh, how am I going to get clothes? I always find the coolest things at Ross. You're always giving into my bosom. So it's like, Lord, you have never, ever got me without. I have never been without. I've all, not just without my needs. He's always given me my wants that I need like little things like even a hair product like my mom just bought it for me that i wanted it's like god is so faithful so today mind you I have three dollars in my pocket so i was cleaning up my room and also have put, i also have i put twenty dollars aside for 
because I want to give out um, Valentine's Day cards um, to like widows and those who, you know, just need to show, be show love. So I was like, I'm, I'm setting this twenty dollars. Like I made that pack. I'm like, I'm not gonna take this twenty dollars from my ties. I'm not because I, I mean, I could have, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna show God my faith. Cause I talk to God like that. I'm like, God, I'm gonna show you my faith. Yeah, I can say, oh, when I'm a millionaire or when I have this, oh, then I'll give to you. But no, I give now. Like, um, don't don't say that. You give now. Woo, but the cars pass by. Get what you have now. I was in a Converse store. Um, there's this little boy in a wheelchair. He was adorable. But I said to myself, man, I wish I could buy him some shoes. Then like um, 30 seconds later, I walked off. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, why can't you? Or why can't you give now? Because I said, I wish I could give him some things when I have money. Like when I have like hundreds of thousands of dollars. But no, God wants to see your faithfulness now. If you won't do it now, what makes you think you're going to do it when you have money? That's like saying you're going to get married and you're cheating before. That's like saying when I get the ring, you're going to... Oh, you're going to stop cheating. No, you're not. You're going to do what's in you. So I went up to the register when they were checking out. I made talk to him. He was so cute. And I gave the mom $20. And I was like, here. And I, she's like, didn't want to take it. But I was like, just do it, you know. And she, they were so grateful. And it just blessed my heart. And I don't do it for attention. I just do it because. And I didn't get any shoes that day. But um, God is faithful. Plus, I didn't see anything that I really liked. God is faithful. Like a week later, I found some awesome bands. For twenty dollars at Ross, and they're beautiful. I never had vans. So I was like, God gave me right back that twenty dollars. Anyway, so basically saying, uh, so today, uh, no, ninety, not three dollars left. Oh, Ellie, Ellie, you're in the car. So today, I mind you, I had three dollars. So I was cleaning up my room, and I found this wallet. I found this wallet, and I had this coach wristlet and i found 14 dollars in there and so i put four dollars i was like praise the lord god you're awesome right when i told him i'm not gonna worry he provided all my needs according to his riches and glory right when i told him i'm not gonna worry i found 14 dollars. i put four dollars to my valentine's day offering fund and then and then about an hour later, I'm cleaning out my car and I found my other cool wallet that I, it's not really a wallet, but it's like a pencil case I got from Hong Kong like two years ago when I studied abroad. And I found literally $20 in here. I was like, oh my gosh. And I know it's like money I lost, but the fact that I wasn't going to take that $20 from my offering and I said, God, I'm going to trust you. He literally blessed me with $34. That even though I had, <laughs> just lost it. And so, like, that just proves that God is just awesome. I have to just come. I was going to say, oh, I'll go do it later when I'm all done up. No. I'm, I'm going to come with y'all raw and real and just how I am and to the horses. But God is faithful. He's awesome. Trust in him.